Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can display only the parent categories with the WooCommerce Category Slider Pro plugin. Make sure that WooCommerce Category Slider Pro plugin is installed in your WordPress site along with the WooCommerce plugin. You can directly click on the Add New or you can click OK Slider and then click Add New to create a new slider and give it a title. As our goal is to create a slider with only parent categories, so directly let's move on to the category type. Here you can see you have two options to select a category type from parent and parent and child. When you select parent, that means all the parent category will display in the slider. Below that, you will find the options to filter the parent categories from specific and exclude. If you want to show a few selected categories, then select specific filter and choose the categories that you want to display in the slider. Let's see if the chosen categories are displaying in the slider or not. As you can see, the selected categories are displaying in the live preview. Using the exclude filter, you can omit any category that you don't want to display in the slider. You can display the slider in different layouts like slider, grid and block. You can also create a ticker mode as well. Go to the display options to configure the category content position related properties. You can select a content position from below content, above content, right content, left content and over the content. Check the box to make the slider items card style. So if I select it and update the preview, you can see this is how the card style slider looks like. Below that you will find the related properties to show or hide the category icon, category icon size, category name, product count, product description, custom text and shop now button. So now if I update the preview, you can see this is how the category slider is displaying in the live preview. Go to the thumbnail settings to configure the slider thumbnail related properties. And in the slider control settings, you'll find the options to configure autoplay, navigation, and pagination related properties. If you want to change the category text font family, then go to the typography settings. And here you will find all the options to change the category text properties. Suppose you want to change the category name font to Roboto. So select Roboto and update the preview. And you can see the font name has been changed to Roboto. Now let's publish the shortcode and copy it from here. Go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block. Publish the page and view it. You can see this is how the category slider display in web pages. I hope you have got a clear idea of creating a parent category slider. In the upcoming videos, I will come up with another feature of the plugin. Until then, take care.